Have you heard this? The owner of the Pinsmore Castle near Highlandville wanted it knocked down and then rebuilt because they believe it wasn't constructed as strong as it should have been. They are suing the concrete company now, claiming the concrete company left out a core component of the mixture that is key to making the walls tornado and bomb proof as designed. KY3's Linda Russell has details. In its lawsuit, the Stephen Huff family alleges the concrete company that worked on Pinsmore intentionally shorted on the amount of reinforcing material it was supposed to be putting in the concrete as it was mixed. Pinsmore was designed to withstand an EF5 tornado or even a bomb blast with small pieces of a reinforced steel called helix inside the concrete walls. But the lawsuit says a former employee of Citywide Construction Products came forward in October 2014, claiming that he and other workers were ordered to short the amount of helix in the concrete and what wasn't used was possibly resold. The lawsuit says he tried to stop the practice but failed and felt lousy about what occurred. The suit says Pensmore did core testing which confirmed the whistleblower's account. The man also claimed another additive called plasticizer to strengthen the walls was watered down or not used at all. We contacted an attorney for Citywide and Monarch Cement Company, named collectively as defendants, who said they are ready to fight the allegations. In a statement, he said, We find the plaintiff's allegations of an intentional scheme to short steel fibers to be without merit, and there is no evidence even suggesting there is a shortage. The Stephen Huff family is asking for $63 million in damages. The case is set for a jury trial in federal court on November 14th. Reporting in Christian County, Linda Russell, KY3 News.